Question 15. Part A. Express 2 cos theta minus sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha, where r is greater than 0 and alpha is between 0 and pi over 2. Give the exact value of r and find the value of alpha in radians to three decimal places. Okay, so we can start this question looking at this r cos theta plus alpha. Now you will find in your formula booklet your compound angle formula and so being careful to take the one with the correct sign so in your formula booklet it will be a plus or minus b etc so taking the plus I have the r cos theta plus alpha is equal to r cos theta cos alpha minus r sine theta sine alpha now I want to just replace this left hand side here with the original expression so I've got 2 cos theta minus sine theta which is what I want to express in the form r cos theta cos alpha minus r sine theta sine alpha now I can compare the coefficients of cos theta I've got r cos alpha is equal to 2 and comparing the coefficients of sine theta I've got r sine alpha is equal to 1. So now that I have these two values this is standard practice in these compound angle questions so I can find tan of alpha by dividing this r sine alpha is equal to 1 by r cos alpha equal to 2 and so by dividing them I get that tan alpha is equal to a half this gives me a value for alpha of 0.464 and that is to three decimal places. For r, I've got cos and sine here. If I square these and add them together, sine squared plus cos squared is one. And so r squared is equal to two squared plus one squared, which is five. And so r is the square root of that, which is root five. So I have my exact value of r, my value of alpha is three decimal places. And so I've written 2 cos theta minus sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha. Figure 6 shows the cross section of a water wheel. The wheel is free to rotate about a fixed axis through the point C. The point P is at the end of one of the paddles of the wheel as shown in figure 6. The water level is assumed to be horizontal and of constant height. The vertical height, h meters, of p above water level is modelled by the equation h is equal to 3 plus 4 cos 0.5 t minus 2 sine 0.5 t, where t is the time in seconds after the wheel starts rotating. Using the model find, part b i the maximum height of p above the water wheel and i i the value of t when this maximum height first occurs giving your answer to one decimal place well the first thing to do with these questions is look at how the equation we've been given lines up with the equation we've already done some work with so we've expressed 2 cos theta minus sine theta in the form r cos theta plus alpha. How does the 2 cos theta minus sine theta compare with this 3 plus 4 cos 0.5t minus 2 sine 0.5t? Well, if we look 2 cos alpha, I've got 4 cos alpha, minus sine, I've got minus 2, it looks like this section here is two lots of what we've just rearranged. And so I can rewrite this as that height is equal to 3 plus 2 lots of this rearrangement being careful here because theta is now 0.5 t and so I've taken a factor of 2 out and then I've replaced this with the form we have already calculated so h is equal to 3 plus 2 root 5 cos 0.5 t plus 0.464 so now if I want to find the maximum height of the water wheel this maximum height occurs when this cos value, of course cos, takes values between negative 1 and 1. It is at its max value 
when this cos 0.5t plus 0.464 is equal to 1. And when it is equal to 1, the height is 3 plus 2 root 5. So that is my answer for part I. That is the maximum height this water wheel can reach. Part II, I want to find the value of t when this maximum height occurs. Well, again, this maximum height is occurring when this value of cos 0.5t plus 0.464 is equal to 1. Now, if I think of a cos curve, cos first takes the value of 1 at 0, but then it next takes the value of 1 at 2 pi. So this 0.5t plus 0.464 is equal to 2 pi. Subtracting 0.64 from 2 pi gives me 0.5t is equal to 5.8 and so on. And so multiplying then by 2 gives me t equal to 11.63 and so on, which rounds to one decimal place as 11.6. That asks us to give our answer to one decimal place. In a single revolution of the wheel, P is below the water level for a total of T seconds. According to the model, part C, find the value of this capital T, giving our answer to three significant figures. Solutions based entirely on calculator technology are not acceptable. Okay, so we're looking at this wheel and we can see, yeah, it's going to go below water level and then for some period of time and then it's going to come out of the water level as it turns. So we have our height. We know at water level that h is zero. So what we want to do is we want to consider what times this wheel goes under the water and then when it comes back out of the water. So let h equal zero. Zero is then equal to this 3 plus 2 root 5 0.5t plus 0.464. If we subtract 3 from both sides and divide by 2 root 5, then we've got our cos of 0.5t plus 0.464 is equal to negative 3 over 2 root 5. Now we're going to consider our cos curve here. So here's our graph of cos x. I want to solve cos equal to minus 3 over 2 root 5. So at minus 3 over 2 root 5, there's two values here of cos x that solve this equation, and that's 2.3 and so on. And then subtracting 2.3 from 2 pi, we get our second value of 3.97 and so on. And so when we do cos to the minus 1 of 3 over 2 root 5, we've seen these two values that we can find. The first on our calculator, the second subtracting it from 2 pi. And so this 0.5t plus 0.464 is equal to first 2.3 and so on, then 3.97 and so on. So to find these two values of t, for the first value of t, 2.3 subtract 0 0.64 times 2 gives me a value of 3.7 and so on. The second value of t is 3.97 subtract 0 0.464 and then multiplied by 2 is 7.0 and so on. Now I want the difference in time and so the total time it is underwater is going to be this 7.0 and so on subtract the 3.7 and so on and that value will be 3.34 to three significant figures. It is a good idea, having found these values, to keep them stored on your calculator and not round until this final point so that your answer is correct to three significant figures. In reality, the water level may not be of constant height. Part D, explain how the equation of the model should be refined to take this into account. Well, here's my model, h is equal to 3 plus the 4 cos 0.5t minus 2 sine 0.5t. This part here, with the cos and the sine, we know to be the reflection of h rotating. And so this constant value 3 is the value assigned to this constant of water level height. And so if we didn't have a constant height for water, then this value of 3 would need to vary.